In world history, ancient Egypt holds a special place, and constant excavations are carried out in the territory of this ancient and one of the most advanced states of its time. As a result, archaeologists learn more about the events of the ancient world and the lives of people. This is Top Facts Black, and these are amazing discoveries in the Egyptian deserts that are hard to believe. Enjoy watching, and of course, let's go. Let's start with the mysterious story of the disappearance of Queen Nefertiti's baboon. In 1336 BC, almost 3,500 years ago, the powerful Egyptian queen owned a mysterious baboon. It is believed that this primate was a symbol of her power. However, one day, the baboon disappeared without a trace, leaving researchers puzzled. For centuries, its disappearance remained a mystery, but a recently discovered video captured on camera, provided an answer to this ancient question. The second story tells of an unusual female pharaoh who wore a false beard. Hatshepsut, who ruled Egypt around 1479 to 1458 BC, aimed for equality between men and women in power. She boldly wore a false beard symbolizing male rule, recovered chambers found by archaeologists, documented unique images of the ancient ruler with a false beard. The next segment touches on the topic of the lost land of Punt, which was considered a mythical place for ancient Egyptians. For a long time, scientists tried to find traces of this legendary land, but their success was doubtful. However, recently discovered video recordings dating back to the heyday of ancient Egypt provide evidence of the existence of the land of Punt and its connections with Egypt. The video shows festive ceremonies, diplomatic exchanges, and trade between representatives of the two civilizations. This discovery was a real breakthrough in the study of the history of the ancient world. Continuing our episode with incredible discoveries from the later periods of Egypt. In 1848, archaeologists discovered an Egyptian mummy wrapped in an unusual foreign book. In the video recorded at the discovery site, you can see researchers carefully opening the book, which became a kind of scroll for the mummy. It turned out that the book was written in ancient Greek and dated to the 4th century BC. Scientists are still studying this unique work and its connection to the Egyptian mummy. The next item in our video reveals the secrets of the ruined pyramid of Jedifre, located near the pyramids of Giza. The found footage, filmed at the excavation site, vividly shows the destruction of this architectural wonder, as well as the presumed reasons for its demise. What do you think caused this catastrophe? This case questions our perception of the resilience of ancient pyramids and makes us ponder the mysteries they hold. Another segment of our video tells the story of a unique discovery from 2013, ancient Egyptian clocks used to determine the time of day. In the video footage, you can see researchers carefully examining this remarkable object, which could change our understanding of how ancient Egyptians measured time and organized their lives. Western archaeologists had long assumed that in ancient Egypt, there was only a division of daytime and nighttime into 12 equal hours each, meaning that they divided a day into 24 hours of varying lengths, and the division of a day into 24 equal hours only emerged among the ancient Greeks. Archaeologist, historian, and former Minister of Antiquities of Egypt, Zahi Hawass, proudly announced on his social media about astonishing discoveries made during the latest excavations near the mysterious tomb of Gizr el Mudir in the dense surroundings of the village of Saqqara, located near majestic Cairo. Researchers, like bold treasure hunters, discovered an ancient cemetery, a mysterious priest's tomb, and a sarcophagus covered in gold leaf shining through the millennia. The sarcophagus, belonging to a mysterious individual named Gekka Shepis, was found at the bottom of a deep 15-meter burial shaft. The limestone sarcophagus remained intact, as if it had been buried only yesterday, after being lowered into the shaft by ancient Egyptians about 4,300 years ago. Expedition participants, astonished by this discovery, suggest that this may be the oldest and undoubtedly the best preserved mummy found in Egypt to date. The light of Dendera is shrouded in mystical haze, as it is not just an artifact of possible ancient technology, 
but also a potential depiction of such an artifact, mysteriously inscribed on the wall of one of the best preserved ancient temples in Egypt, the temple of the mysterious goddess Hathor in Dendera. The controversial reliefs, like mysterious pictures, illustrate the light of Dendera, interweaving with ancient Egyptian legends about the creation of the world, mysterious ceremonies, powerful gods of their pantheon, and ideas of rebirth. The inscriptions surrounding the reliefs clearly demonstrate that this is not evidence of ancient Egyptian technology. Archaeologists, researching thousands of ancient monuments across Egypt, have not found any convincing electrical artifacts, let alone bulbs. There is still no concrete evidence that the ancient Egyptians used electric lighting. One of the seven wonders of the world, the Pyramid of Khufu in Giza, with its majestic age of 4,500 years, continues to fascinate and amaze not only the general public, but also the most sophisticated experts. The entire complex of pyramids, where the Great Pyramid stands as if crowning all the knowledge and secrets of the ancient world, is one of the most mysterious and studied archaeological artifacts, as if guarding many secrets and legends. The pyramid becomes the subject of research by scientists from all corners of the earth who try to penetrate its mysteries and decipher them using the most modern technologies. Egyptologist Ladislav Bares says, the interior of the pyramid hides a huge space. The original entrance led into the rock where the oldest burial chamber was built, but then it was forgotten and other passages led only upwards. In the very heart of this grandiose structure lie the royal burial chamber and the great gallery the most expansive room found in any Egyptian pyramid. Thus, the mysteries of the Great Pyramid continue to enliven the imagination and elicit genuine admiration, revealing new facets of the history and magic of ancient Egypt. The Great Library of Alexandria existed for almost a thousand years. Throughout its history, it accumulated over 700,000 volumes. Some of them contained the ancient secret knowledge of lost civilizations. In its last few centuries, the library was subjected to constant looting. Manuscripts were stolen and destroyed. The library consisted of dozens of halls and rooms. Researchers still debate the exact date of its foundation. Most lean towards the 50 years of the 4th century BC, when it was initiated by the Egyptian king Ptolemy I. Anyway, the library flourished up to the beginning of our era. The keepers of the manuscripts enjoyed high privileges, and the chief librarian was always appointed as the tutor of the royal heir. On the banks of the mighty and mysterious Nile River, scientists discovered a long-forgotten mummification workshop where the ancient Egyptians paid their last respects to those who passed into the afterlife. Through the centuries and the sands of time, this workshop preserves the secrets and techniques of the art of mummification, which was truly sacred and unique to the ancient Egyptians. Here, numerous artifacts were found, testifying to the greatness and mastery of ancient rituals. Question to all viewers, what do you think happened to the masters of this workshop, and why was it forgotten for many centuries? Spanish archaeologists excavated in Upper Egypt, in El Banasa, two tombs with two 500-year-old remains of a man and a woman who were buried with golden tongues, plates of golden foil. This is not the first find of its kind, as it was believed that the golden tongue should help those going to the kingdom of the dead to persuade Osiris to show mercy to their souls. Golden plates, replacing tongues, are not so commonly found among ancient Egyptian mummies. They were inserted during burials so that the spirit of the deceased could speak with Osiris in the afterlife. The man's skull still looks completely intact, and photographs clearly show the golden tongue protruding from his mouth. Archaeologists found next to him 402 faience figurines. These are the so-called ushabti, respondents, statuettes that the ancient Egyptians placed in the tomb so that they could replace the deceased in the works on Osiris's afterlife fields. They could be made of wood, stones, terracotta, or faience. In some tombs, the number of ushabti corresponded to the number of days in a year, and sometimes spells listing all the forthcoming agricultural works were inscribed on them. In the dark and mysterious corridors of the tomb of the famous pharaoh Tutankhamun, scientists made a stunning discovery. They found mummified infants who were carefully covered and preserved. 
They represent a key to unlocking the mystery of the royal dynasty, the life and death of the famous pharaoh. The great Tutankhamun, though he ruled for a brief time, left behind a legacy and mysteries that continue to intrigue scientists and researchers for centuries. What was the fate of these innocent children? And what is their connection to the pharaoh himself? These questions lead to reflections on the mystical and complex history of ancient Egypt, its rulers, and their relatives. It is said that an ancient tunnel, hidden deep in the ground of Egypt, holds the secret of the tomb of the great queen Cleopatra. Discovered in the shadow of the Taposiris Magna Temple, west of Alexandria, this secret passage reveals itself to the Egyptian Dominican archaeological mission from the University of Santo Domingo. The tunnel hides its secret at a depth of about 13 meters, stretches up to two meters high, and is 1,300 meters long. According to the Ministry of Tourism and Antiquities of Egypt, initial studies indicate a similarity in construction to the Greek tunnel of Jubilinos. This discovery has led scientists to wonder whether this mysterious corridor leads to the tomb of Cleopatra, which has yet to be discovered. The huge underground tunnel with its mystical charm awakens the imagination and arouses interest in its true purpose, remaining a mystery for now. In 2018, in the depths of the forgotten catacombs of Alexandria, archaeologists stumbled upon a mysterious black granite sarcophagus. At a depth of five meters, its unusual shape, shrouded in darkness and mystery, was revealed. The weight of the giant sarcophagus and its lid, fitting snugly to it, as if guarding ancient secrets, was in some mysterious solution. When the news of the discovery spread on the internet, grim rumors and wild theories about what lay inside captured the minds of people. The city's residents began to fear plagues, viruses, and even ancient curses. Finally, when the sarcophagus lid was lifted, a sinister and disgusting smell filled the air, forcing archaeologists to stop work. The sarcophagus was left open for an hour to let the terrible smell dissipate. Upon further examination, researchers discovered that the sarcophagus was half filled with a red-brown sludge. Carefully removing this mysterious substance, archaeologists found bones at the bottom of the sarcophagus. However, to this day, scientists have not been able to determine the nature of this strange liquid, how it got there, and what purpose it might have served. The ancient sarcophagus remains a mystery, holding its secrets in the depths of Egypt's sands. For the first time in history, scientists have discovered the mummy of a pregnant woman who was about 20 years old at the time of death. This astonishing fact was revealed thanks to advanced research technologies such as computed tomography. The mummy dates back to about 2,000 years ago and was found in the area of the archaeological complex of the Red Pyramids. Scientists aim to study the causes of death and examine more closely the mummification rituals used at that time. Archaeologists excavated the long-forgotten city of Otten, buried under the sands of Egypt for many centuries. The camera captured unique footage of ruined buildings, columns, and sanctuaries that tell the story of an ancient people and their gods. The city of Otten was built during the New Kingdom period and served as an important administrative and cult center. Excavations continue, and scientists hope to discover more detailed information about the life and culture of its inhabitants. A group of scientists from Egypt and the United States discovered what is possibly the oldest brewery in the world, the oldest known brewery at one of the most famous archaeological sites of ancient Egypt. The factory apparently was built in this area for conducting royal rituals with beer. Considering that archaeologists found evidence of beer being used in sacrificial rites of the ancient Egyptians, the existence of the brewery was first mentioned by British archaeologists in the 1900s, but they could not determine its location. This place is considered one of the oldest in the world and may be the cradle of the art of brewing beer. The Temple of the Sun is a new, exciting discovery by archaeologists who have uncovered the remains of what they believe to be one of the six temples ever built by the pharaohs of the Fifth Dynasty. The discovery, made in Abu Ghurab, south of Cairo and north of the archaeological site of Abu Sir, is hailed as one of the most important in recent decades. It has been 50 or more years since the second Egyptian Sun Temple was discovered, and the latest find causes great excitement. Archaeologists believe they have fairly solid evidence 
that they have unearthed the Third Sun Temple. Interestingly, the ruins of the Third Sun Temple lie beneath the remains of a later Sun Temple of Neusera, built by Neusera Ini, the sixth ruler of the Fifth Dynasty during the Old Kingdom period. The Falcon Temple, as named by a group of archaeologists led by the Autonomous University of Barcelona, was discovered during fieldwork in 2019. The cult building consists of two small rectangular rooms with doorways located along the central axis, featuring Egyptian decorative elements. In neighboring ancient buildings, artifacts related to the culture and beliefs of the mysterious people of the Blemis were found. The Falcon Temple shows that they might have respected the Egyptian tradition and developed cult practices in which falcons were sacrificed to the Egyptian god Khonsu in a manner not witnessed in Egypt. However, this method is similar to the cults of the temples of the Nile Valley. Several years ago, in a tomb located in Saqqara, 30 kilometers from Cairo, scientists discovered a product they could not immediately identify. The analysis of the find took four years. The research was recently completed, but the results were somewhat unexpected. Undoubtedly, it was cheese, but its consumption posed a life-threatening risk even 3,200 years ago. The initial analysis of the substance showed a high content of sugars and proteins of various types. The substances and amino acid chains found, though partially destroyed by time, gave scientists full right to speak of the find as one of the oldest cheeses discovered today. Scientists were able to find the Temple of Zeus after they noticed two huge granite columns that served as the entrance to the temple. The columns had collapsed as a result of a strong earthquake that occurred in ancient times. Continuing their excavations, archaeologists stumbled upon a set of granite blocks likely used as stairs in front of the temple. Excavations in Pelusium, where modern scientists were able to find the Temple of Zeus, began in the year 1900. At that time, French Egyptologist Jean Cledat found ancient Greek inscriptions that indicated the existence of the Temple of Zeus, but the structure itself remained elusive for a long time. Now before you is a two-meter monumental figure seated on a throne, proudly straightening her back and folding her hands on her knees. It is called the statue of the goddess Sekhmet. Despite her face being damaged, the goddess makes a strong impression, and it seems she possesses supernatural power. No wonder the museum's attendants tell incredible things about the statue of Sekhmet. Occasionally, on full moon nights, a red puddle appears on the granite knees of the goddess, which dries up by morning, leaving only a barely noticeable residue. Scientifically, this phenomenon is hard to explain, but from a mystical perspective. In November of 1922, a group of archaeologists discovered the previously unknown tomb of Pharaoh Tutankhamun. They entered it through sealed doors and overcame obstacles left by tomb robbers. They moved deeper and deeper, passing through narrow passages until they finally reached the burial chamber. There, they discovered an enormous gilded sarcophagus, which was over five meters high. Inside this sarcophagus were several other sarcophagi, nested within each other, and in the last of them was a quartz sarcophagus. Inside the sarcophagus was the golden coffin of Tutankhamun, and his mummy was adorned with a wrought gold mask. This was the most beautiful portrait of the pharaoh, with expressive eyes made of dark blue glass and obsidian, and a wide necklace decorated with colored stones. In ancient times, drawings, letters, and seals were created on papyrus, as it was easier to preserve and transmit information on it. On your screens is the Thule papyrus, which can tell people about unknown phenomena related to UFOs. According to legend, this papyrus was written during the reign of Pharaoh Thutmose III, around 1480 BCE. The text on it describes a strange event that happened in the past. Ufologists found in this a hint that it was related to UFOs and aliens. According to this document, in the 22nd year, a huge fireball appeared in the sky, which was 46 meters long and moved silently. It flew past the palace, leaving a mysterious trail in history. A couple from the United States decided to take a short trip, during which to visit the desert in Arizona. They were confident that the sandy landscape and a few wild cacti would create the perfect backdrop for photos in their family album. However, when they were ready to take pictures, their attention was drawn to a strange formation on the sand, 
This spot was colored purple and shimmered in the sun. Later it turned out that this formation consisted of many small jelly-like spheres colored purple. They felt sticky to the touch and made a crunching sound when pressed. But neither on the spot nor after thorough analysis was it possible to understand what it was. Perhaps it was something related to extraterrestrial life. So these were some of the most astonishing discoveries made in Egypt. If you like this episode and want to see something similar, then write comments like Subscribe to the Top Facts channel and right now watch one of the previous episodes that appeared on your screen.